Are you going to explain uh, your accomplishments in Minnesota, or that's for a different yeah. chat? Haven't, uh, <laughs> hadn't, haven't made any headway yet. Well, what have you done, do you think? What well, haven't done, do you think? Well, the, uh, the lady I'm helping out has got five kids. She's a widow, and the uh, two sister-in-laws think that they should be raising the kids, and uh, so they, they put in a, a motion to the court to take the kids away. And she's learning everything as fast as she can, and just a lot of started wrong with some paperwork that was put in that uh, that I was trying to help her out with, and somebody messed with that. So uh, she, she tried to put in a police report, like, you know, about theft of property. And uh, what happened is the, the police wouldn't take it. They, you know, they kept converting it over to family and children and other things. And um, they wouldn't take a, a property for a simple wrongful possession. So, right. we, so we wrote up a notice and had the notice served on the judge as a mandated reporter on the case. But the big thing, as I was saying, though, too, is if you were trying to put in a, a police report and you're saying a police officer, like at the desk, wouldn't take your report, they wouldn't take the uh, they wouldn't take her report of um, of the, yeah, the property saying, of wrongful there, well, possession. Saying, well, were, you, well, were you there when they wouldn't no. do it? Okay, no. Okay, let's see. You have no. Then you have no fucking clue that they wouldn't do it. Well, the, what I I saw the report that they did take. It does. They, it's what I'm saying is you don't know. If you and what she was what she was reporting to them, I've got a pretty good idea. I've been working with her for three months, and she's pretty. And I guarantee, you know, like I said, yeah. Well, okay. Let me tell you, I have no vested interest in this woman. Yeah. And I can guarantee you, if I was a little bird on her shoulder, I guarantee when they asked us, you don't want to make a claim for property, so well, that's family issue. This is this. This is this. I guarantee she did not come with a snappy retort. that's like, well, thank you for your legal opinion. Thank you for what you believe to be what I what I'm saying, but um, do you have a legal department here? And may and may I talk to somebody in legal, and maybe they might be more confident in what I'm trying to report. I guarantee she did not say that. Yeah, actually she did. Uh, and she said she wants to talk to the legal department. She went and talked to the legal department, and they wouldn't talk to her. So she set up an appointment for two hours later. And when it was time for the appointment, uh, they wouldn't follow through. They didn't want to talk to me. Well, you don't get through to the legal department. Then what's your next course of action? You go to the city manager. And did she go to the city manager? She was trying to find out who that was. Okay, it takes me about 10 seconds to find the city manager. I'm going to call the court clerk, and I'm going to call the county clerk, and I'm going to say, yeah, who's there's, the city manager? There's, there's no city manager. There was a, there was a, a okay, town. Okay, then, then, then she lives in the county. Then she's got a county she lives in, right? She doesn't live in yeah. the parish. She lives in a county, right? Yep, she lives in the county. Then she went out. She went down and found the county commissioner. I haven't, uh, I haven't checked here. I was going to look up the county prosecutor tonight. No, I said county prosecutor. I said the county commissioner, the count who runs the county. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to. Okay. it's a good idea. Right. I'll check into that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So when you don't get here, you go A, you go B, you go C, you go D, you go to the top. You did. You went through the whole. You know. You went through all the ranking. You said, "Look to the count, the the the, the man that's in charge of the county." He said to the man, "Hey, look. I went to the county sheriff's department. I went to file this. They would not take this report. What? How are you training these? How are you disciplining? How are you monitoring these people who r supposedly run this county that you know operates underneath your jurisdiction and your control? How are you doing this? Or how are you not doing this? Is a better question." Okay. Because I don't know if she went to the sheriff's department. I don't know if she went to a town cop. I don't know if she went to a city cop. What she did is she wrote up a notice of wrongful possession, and she had it served on the judge, on the man who's acting as a judge. When you're filing a report that somebody's done something wrong, did she go to the city? Did she go to the town? She's got did a she police go to that? report. She, 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 she went a police, the police report. report through the sheriff's and department? The police report was through the police department. And it talks okay, about, the, it's the, it's about the, family the and okay. children. It, it, it's very simple. But she went to the police department, okay? Where were the children taken? In the, the city? In, in, under that police jurisdiction and control? Yes. Okay, so she, her relatives came to that city and took them? Yes, they did. Okay, so what, what, what city does she live in? She's in Hibbing, Minnesota. And those kids became in possession of... Her uh, sister's how? 
two of the other kids had gone out for two weeks, and then they came back home, and she swapped uh, two the, the the two older kids, and uh, they met at the hotel. They hung out. You know, everybody went swimming that day, and then the in-laws left with the uh, the older two kids. And those older two kids are the ones who are not in her custody. That's correct. So her sister stole them at the pool or stole them at the hotel. The uh, mother and father-in-law took them uh, from the uh, hotel. Okay. So how did the sisters get them? Don't know. Somehow the uh, the sisters got a hold of the kids, took them to some church someplace, and had the uh, pastor or the minister or somebody uh, ask them a bunch of questions, and then they filed a petition based on the information that these people had gathered. So where these children are now, that's where she filed the police report? No, the police report was filed here. Okay. And like I said to people, if um, if my car is stolen in New Orleans, what's the okay, it's, it is okay for me to call down here locally and say, look, I'd like to put a report that my car was stolen. And my car was stolen in, uh, here, I believe, in this county. But I believe I found the location for it is in New Orleans. But I'm going to come here and just put a report in that it was stolen here, you know, two days ago. But somebody told me it's in New Orleans, so I'm also going to put a report down now in New Orleans because I got a tracking device in my car that I know where my car is and then I want it back. Like I said, the police up here say, well, it's fine. That's good. That's good that you put it in that you uh, know that it's in New Orleans. Because honestly, if you're telling us now it's in New Orleans, there's not a fucking thing we can do about it. Because we don't have the, the manpower, the jurisdiction, or the authority to go down to New Orleans and go get your shit for you. So just because they take a police report there, if they took it and didn't take it there where she lives, because it's easy and convenient for her to do it that way, to just make it, make it nice and simple so she doesn't have to take a trip to New Orleans and say, that my kids are in New Orleans and I want them back. That's what you do. Yeah, the kids make are currently... The, the kids are currently in Wisconsin. One was with one sister and the other with the other sister in two different counties. And yeah. the uh, the notice of wrongful possession which was served on the man, Bob, the, the mandated reporter who's handling the case, that notice was served on him, and a copy of that notice was given to the local sheriff here and was sent to the sheriff in Wisconsin uh, for each county. So they should have gotten those this weekend. Okay. That's good. So they should have got it this weekend. That's, that's lovely. Yep. Okay. And did you, and you did she explain that if you know that she's her, that's where our property lies and she wishes the assistant of that uh, sheriff's department for its immediate and proper return? Yes, she did. And that's what it says. It says I require the return of my property to my domestic authority. Yeah. Did you ask them to help for them directly to help you? Yes, or did you I say I, I want the property or say I require the sheriff's department to perform their duty and function and restore my property forthwith? Well, let me pull did, it you tell the sheriff's department, did you tell the sheriff's department to actually they have to get their ass in gear? I'm pretty sure I covered it pretty much just like that. Let me take a look. All right, it says, Dear John, greetings. I, a woman, write to you, the man I believe sometimes acts as chief law enforcer for the county of Brown, to let you know I require your assistance in a matter of wrongful possession of property, the details of which are laid out in the, in the enclosed notice, as well as another notice, uh, which was served upon Mark Starr. Mark is the mandated reporter who's acting um, as judge. I require said property forthwith returned to my domestic authority. Thank you for your immediate attention to this matter. Yeah. You don't have to say domestic authority. Say you get a, I require the immediate return of my property into my, you know, into, 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 you could say, you use a legal word if you wanted to. You could say custody. You know, but like I said, you know, you could have just said, uh, I wish for the immediate return of my property. Yeah. You know, what was the word that you used? I require said I require I require said property forthwith returned to my domestic authority. Yeah, domestic authority. That's a sketchy word to use. That's really legalese. Well, you know, to be placed back that. into my domestic authority. You know, like I said, you could say, you know, but then you could say, well, that's some sort of legal doctrine that she's relying upon sort of domestic authority doctrine. Yeah. You know, so I just try to avoid any kind of legal doctrines. You know, I try to just talk like a man would talk. Like like what like like Tarzan would talk. How would Tarzan talk? 
But Tarzan say, you know, domestic authority is like Tarzan want property back. Tarzan want property now. You know, like how would Tarzan talk? What would Tarzan say? If I was Tarzan, what would I do? Yeah. Would you say domestic authority? No. Would you just make it super simple? Yeah, I want my property. I want it now. Are you going to aid and assist me? You know, I require you to aid and assist me in the restore, you know, to return the property. No. Something simple like that. Don't you know? The more I say domestic, of course they can say. You know, like, what is the definition of is, is? They can say, what is the definition of domestic authority in, in your belief? What do you believe domestic authority means? She so just makes it too freaking complicated. Say, what part of, give me back my shit, don't you understand? Are you going to help me get back my shit or not? What part of that do you understand? Yeah, it's pretty See, when you guys when you guys use flowery terms, terms that make people like, oh, look, I got a big IQ. Oh, look, I, I, I got a roger. I, I'm a, I'm a, I can recite fucking, uh, I can use synonyms. Look, look how smart I am. It just, it just leads to your own peril, because then it's led up to interpretation. Now, what do you mean by domestic authority? You know, like, okay, then you got to start. You think that she's going to be able to stand in the court and tell the judge what does the domestic authority mean? I'm pretty sure she's capable of doing that. Yeah. Could, but whatever he does it on the fly, on the seat of his pants, and she's not ready for it. You're using words that she might not know exactly what they mean. Like when the judge did that to me, he says, okay, explain a trust. I explained it to him. He says, okay, give me another interpretation of what a trust is. Okay. Now give me a third definition, a third interpretation of trust. It's like if I say to you, tell me what blue means. You say, well, blue, you know, like the color, blue. No, that's not a fucking definition. Using blue to define blue is not a definition of blue. You can say it's a certain wavelength and frequency that the visual, uh, you know, optic nerve could actually, you know, uh, uh, absorb and that we, uh, you know, it, it, it's a reflection. It's something that wasn't absorbed. It, you know, like I said, you have to explain what blue is. Yeah. You know, so blue, like, you know, like the fucking color, like domestic authority, you know, like it's, it's my house and it's under my control. I'll say, okay, now give me another example, like the judge did to me in England. Could you imagine if I only knew one definition for, for, for public trust or private trust? Can you imagine if I only knew one way to explain it? The judge said, give me another one. He says, okay. Okay, I like that. I like that. Now, give me another example of a public trust and a private trust. I said, okay, let's talk about your, you know, social security numbers. Let's talk about this. You know, so he said, okay, I like that. That's fine. Uh, give me another interpretation of what a trust is. Explain it to me in another way. So I had to explain it in three different ways. So if you guys are just mastering one thing, one way, and then you want to use these words, they're going to test you. They're going to try you to see if you really thoroughly understand that word or that phrase or that term that you're using. You better not just give them one. You better have two, three under your belt. Thank God it wasn't that. What what, 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 I had two definitions or two ways to explain a private or public trust to this judge. He asked me for three. He could have asked me for four. And I would have said, okay, let me put it this way, sir. And he said, okay, well, give me another one. Okay. Well, let me put it this way, sir. And what we're until, he's com- until he's comfortable and confident that I really do know what the fuck I'm putting in front of that court. Yeah. Is this guy just bullshitting us, or does he really fucking know his crap? And the judge had to say, you know what? Fine. Good enough. Thank God. You know, like I said, you, you know, like I said, they're going to try you, and they're going to see if you know your shit, or if you're just full of crap. So what's the, uh, so the local sheriff here... And the two sheriffs in the two counties where the kids are at right now have been notified. She's going to be following uh-huh. up tomorrow, and so she should also follow up with the city manager. I think I think they have a town administrator over here. Is what the that's yeah. the closest she could find. So she's got that yeah. guy's name, and then the county commissioner. You just, just all right. You just say she basically just wants to make a report, and that whether you follow up with it or not is irrelevant. If I want to make a report that I saw space aliens, I saw space aliens, and just file a report. Whether it's true or not, that's not up to you to determine. You know, you just take the report. You know, I pay my taxes, I do whatever, da da da, I'm a citizen, da 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 da. Just take the damn report. Do your fucking job. If I want to say we've fucking seen 16,812 space aliens dancing on the forehead of, a, of an elephant, you know, while I was balancing my fucking uh, left foot on a needle, you know, just take the damn report. So once the report then, what's the next one? Then you just go get the kid back. Okay. Because you told the world. You told the world, that's my kid, I'm going to get it. That's my, that's my kid, and I want it back. Go get it back. Sounds like fun. 
yeah, go get it. And then when I say, why did you take the kid? It's like, you know, what, what do you mean, why did I go get the kid? Didn't you get the memo? No, it's going to be an interesting day tomorrow. Yeah, just go get the kid. It's that simple. What's, what, what's the worst they could do if you go get the kid? What's the worst they could do? What's that? Worst they can do is say no. What, well, who say no? The, uh, the sheriff or the, dep- the deputies, the cops. No, she's, she's, she's got to find where her property lies. She's going to pick it up and take it home. Yep. And what? Well, chances are, when she gets there, the sister-in-laws are going to call the cops. Well, why, why would she be knocking on the door? Well, where where would she find the property where, where, where are the kids? Are they chained huh. into the cellar of the lady's house somewhere? Well, they're, they're staying uh, in Wisconsin. Okay, so she goes to Wisconsin. She knows where they are. She goes in the house, goes get the kids, and fucking leaves. Say, come on, kids, you go with me. 